All right, dude. How are you tonight? Um, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to see the all the artwork for tonight. I haven't gone in there yet. Oh, you haven't? No, not yet. Get in there. I need to get in there. Tell me about your work and and um, what got you into art in the first place? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess just just uh, expressing myself in the same way, like music or anything I do is um, art is just another. Um, another tentacle yeah. of that octopus if you will right um and my stuff is a uh, is very um it's very graphic i draw a lot from like comics and um i don't know just very graphic art right now what what really got you into art in the first place is it a, a piece of, of art that you saw when you were younger is it someone that really got you into art uh, how did that really transition for you yeah i don't know uh i mean i guess both of my parents, uh, you know, do some degree of art, and there was always just art supplies around the house. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not a very good uh, painter. Like my, I'm not technically good at like, you know, I always uh, did poorly in, in <laughs> school. But, uh, but I guess you know, you find it, find a way to express yourself in a way that, that um, I don't know, that, I guess emphasizes the skills you do have yeah. and downplays the ones you don't have. <laughs> now, the fact that you also do music, um, does that play a big role in, in the art that you do, especially, you know, touring around the world? Does that, does that add to your creative process when, when, you're, when you sit down and start working on your pieces? Uh, I mean, I suppose it's, uh, you know, your worldview sort of changes as you travel around the world. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's anything travel specific in the art that I do but um, you know it maybe on a subconscious level yeah. now why are events like this so important uh, for the art community whether it's something big or something small like why is it so important to showcase your work your work oh that's a good question um, I mean I think it's just man I don't know <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean why did you want to showcase yeah. your work on this well, well, what was what was the benefit out of it? I mean, it's you know, it for you know most of us are, you know, I guess it's punk rock and paintbrushes. So most of us are are uh, primarily musicians, and and I think you know when you have um, when you're sort of established in one, uh, I don't know, uh, doing one thing, it's uh, it's easy to get sort of um, overlooked in another area, so. I guess this is just an uh, an opportunity for people who are normally viewed as primarily musicians to to show what they are doing in the art world. Right. Nice. Now, can we talk a little bit about the music? Um, this year, you've been on tour for basically the entire year. Yeah. Um, what was that like for you this year, especially after being so doing this for you know all your life? I mean, it's great. I I love it. Um, it's uh, it's always fun, especially after taking a year to like write a record and record a record to actually be able to take it out on the road and play it in front of people yeah. and you never really know like you know it's not a it's not a given that it's going to be a, you know a great crowd response or right. um, so it's always fun to kind of test out the material and say like what what are people gonna say or how are they gonna you know react to this new stuff right. um, so but it, yeah it's also great I mean I feel like living in Los Angeles um, I don't know, you, you sort of, it's easy to take a lot of things for granted, like mm -hmm. bands will always play here and there's always, right. you know, it, uh, a lot of movie culture and different things and it's it's great to go out into the world and see all the the culture and the and the people and the and the food and, you know, of all these different places. Right. Now, as you guys do your work, you're going towards your 10th record now, like how do you how do you keep yourself challenged every time in the studio? How does it how does it become harder? Well, I think our last record is our tenth record. You're right. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> we we sort of challenge ourselves. I mean, um, we never want to do the same thing again. The same thing we've already done. We don't want to be redundant. Um, it's not creatively fulfilling to just keep doing the same thing over and over again. So. Whenever we are writing new stuff or recording or anything we do, we try to, you know, 
find something new about it, something that'll keep us engaged. Right. And and like when you when you sit down and write music, do you is it are you constantly writing music together or do you guys say, Okay, we're done with this album cycle, it's time to work on a new one? Yeah, it used to be <laughs> it used to be a little more organic, I think when we we all lived in a in a house together back in the 90s um, now it's very um, it's very planned out we live in different cities and right. so we can't just waste time and money um, so you it's guys have to book each other now yes exactly <laughs> so it's it's very very well planned out and we know exactly what we're doing and and uh, don't waste a moment right now what's next for you guys uh, are you guys done for the year what are the plans for 2018 we're done for the year uh, 2018 I don't know we uh, we have some stuff kind of in the works, but nothing, um, nothing interesting. Yeah. Did Jade? Did Jade say he was ready to write a new record? He is always ready to write a new record. <laughs> he's constantly writing. He's he's um he's really amazing. So so prolific.